In this video, we'll be proving Proposition 1.5.1. Let's look back. We've used it in the last um, video. Um, it says that the volume of a parallel pipe bed with adjacent edges U, V, and W, so U, V, and W, is the volume is equal to the absolute value of U dot V cross W, so the triple scalar product of U, V, and W. All right, so we want to prove this. Let's see. If we want the volume of a solid like this, it's height times area of the base. So let's figure out what the height is first. That's where most of the work is. All right, so let me put back um, what we had. We had, this was V. We have, this is W. And then we have in blue, we have U right here. All right, so we want the height. I'll draw it here from the end of U. I'll draw a perpendicular going down to the base. That's going to be my height. I'm going to think of it as a vector. That's going to help us compute it. All right, so I want, in some sense, the part of U that's perpendicular to the base, so perpendicular to both V and W. Well, we know of a vector that's perpendicular to both, so let me draw it here. We know that V cross W is perpendicular to both V and W. And so what we really want, H is going to be the part of U, which is in the direction of V cross W. Well, that we know as the projection. In fact, let me redraw the picture for you in a slightly different way. Um, I have, in the original picture, I have U going this way. I have H going this way, and I have the purple. Let me move the purple here. So this is V cross W. So really what we're doing is we're dropping a perpendicular here, and the orange vector is this vector right here. It's just that we drew it somewhere else because we were thinking of it as a height, but if we think of it as a projection, we should put it on the vector v cross w and so you can see it now hopefully because this is a perpendicular that h is the projection of u onto v cross w so if you're not sure about this try to redraw this picture but with u um sorry with v cross w horizontal all right, so now that we see that we have a projection to compute that, we have the algebra that saves us. So this projection is u dot the direction vector over the length of the direction vector squared, and then the direction vector again. This entire thing in front is a constant. All right, excellent. Now we're ready to find what the length of the h vector is. That's what we want as the height. So that's going to be the length of h, so the length of u dot v cross w, length of v, sorry, cross w squared v cross w. This right here is a real number. So because it's a real number, this is some real number, we could pull it out of the absolute value. The only cost we incur is an absolute value around it.
and then we still have the absolute value of the vector that's left over. All right, the denominator of this fraction is a positive number because it's in length and then on top of it it's squared. So we don't need the absolute value around the denominator. And so we just need the absolute value around the triple scalar product. We get this length squared and the length again. Um, we can cancel one of the lengths with the two and we'll get u dot v cross w length of v cross w. All right, that's the height. That part here is the height. Um, to find the volume, we also need the area of the base. Well, the base is a parallelogram made up of V and W, so that's the length of V cross W, since it's a parallelogram. Actually, let me write it. Area of which is the length of V cross W. All right, so in total, the volume. The volume is height times base. And so the height we found in one The base we found in two, they cancel and we get, so these two cancel and we get the absolute value of the triple scalar product as claimed.